plan today is to take the truck over to my aunt's house, get it put in the backyard as quickly as possible so we can make it over to grab the other rental car. So we can take this rental back to Fairbanks. Nick's gonna drive that other car, then pick me up, drop this off, and then drive back. Should be a long day. <laughs> Let this car go. Does it even try? Turning it off. Oh, we do have these chains on it. I totally forgot about this. That might prohibit a little bit. Keep the trailer alive. We're done. Yeah. Fucking so good. Cool. Guess we just gotta get over that. All right, what's your plan, Nick? So, unfortunately, we didn't eat our Wheaties this morning. No. <laughs> can't get it up a hill, we can't push it up a hill. <laughs> no Wheaties. I mean, it's not that steep, but... It's steep enough it's when it just... weighs eight times as much as you do. Oh, fuck. So, we're going to try to slap the driveline back in. We uh, goofed up some bearings and stuff when we took it apart, but it's going, you know... It's just gotta go against the fence. 15 yards right there, so like, we'll make it happen. All right, here we go, let's get this line back on there. So we can drive it 20, 30 feet. Ugh. Shimmy, shimmy. Boom. Come on, let's spin it, though. Oh, yeah, my arm, my arm. Can you watch that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so let's go all the way. Oh, look at that. Almost lost. Okay. All right, let me see our bearings. <sighs> Maybe we should put that on the bottom. the bottom. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, fuck. Is it in there pretty good? It'll suck it up when we throw the things on there. This is some of my favorite shit to do. I mean, I know we were bitching about it, but I love working on cars. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> dirt and eye. Too bad yeah. you don't have gloves for your eyes, huh? <laughs> nice one. I Always think, with the gloves. I think we're where we need to be because it's even on both sides. Yep. It just slid in right there. We are rocking and rolling, baby. <laughs> Like four or five millimeters. Or I'm sorry, I forgot we're American, an eighth of an inch. 
<laughs> Thanks, I was confused. I was like, what the fuck is that? I, <laughs> I only do metric, boys. I've, I forgot the imperial system, to be honest. I don't really care. Either way. I just look at a wrench and if it fits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I loosely packed those little be those little bearings bearings into those uh, U joints. So highly recommend you just replace it or repack it. 100% me too, but we're only going 20 feet. So. We're only just driving up the driveway, so this will hold for as long as we need it. Now, hopefully, the battery ain't dead. Well, we have jumper cables. We do. So that's a plus. Okay. Here we go. Finally, we have completed the mission. That feels good. It feels that good. Does feel good. Now it's with family that will actually take care of it. That's nice. And uh, that pretty much ends the saga for now. Probably in a year or two, we're gonna come back up and actually get it running. And I'm either gonna leave it with my sister so she has a car, or we're gonna take it home and turn this into a a mean mud bogging or slammed low truck, I don't know. It'll be cool either way we go with it. All right, time to hit the road because me and Nick have a lot of driving to do. All right, trailer, or Dolly, I keep calling it a trailer. Dolly is now in its place. We now have no trailer. Doesn't that feel good, dude? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. No more 40 mile an hour. All right, let's go get the other rental. So, guys, we stop here at Walmart. First of all, we need to get radios because someone doesn't have cell service. So we can communicate on this drive. We got some food, some, you know, look at that. I mean, it's small. It fits in the palm of his hand. We got these radios and well, like they're brand new and this one has decided it didn't want to work. The other one works just fine, so. It's just how the chip's gone. <laughs> so. Justin will come to learn. You can ask any of my close friends. Like any of my friends have been friends with us for like 10 plus years. I am the walking embodiment. Okay, I am Murphy's Law personified. If something can go wrong, it will go wrong. This is my life. So you're the bad luck charm. Yeah, somebody put a curse on me when I was a baby. No, that would have been nice to know a couple weeks ago. <laughs> hey man, I tried to talk you out of bringing me. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did twice. I was like, ah, you're no, like, I don't, I don't have any money, and I, I said, like, bullshit, I don't, I don't care. I'm broke. I don't want to do that. I said, I already bought the ticket, and he said, cool. Exactly. So <laughs> I didn't weasel my way into this at all. <laughs> I got told there's a ticket for you. <sighs> so what was I gonna do? Not come? <laughs> that would have been a dick move. That's what she said. <laughs> nah. <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna go. I get. Oh, look, it's working now. No, it's not. Oh, it was for a second. All right, we're gonna go return these. Grab the seventy-dollar ones. <laughs> well, I think the. Oh wait, yeah, they were different ones. Weren't they? All right, we'll go see if we can get a good pair of these because it would be nice to communicate while we're in the middle of Alaska. Yeah. Well, here we are again, driving down the freeway in the middle of Alaska. Had to stop and use the bathroom. We actually went pretty far without stopping. That was pretty good. Yeah, we did. We're, um, the goal is to like get to Fairbanks as quick as possible and then take some more time coming back because it's a nice clear day and uh, there should be some fire sunset pictures coming your way. But uh, we're gonna stop at least one more time, maybe two, depending on what we see and uh, get some more pictures and just enjoy this beautiful area that we don't get to see. It's definitely nice going down the road without a trailer and you can just pretty much haul ass the whole way. It's been nice. And Nick's got cell service again. Look at me. Hell yeah. But the radios are kind of fun. I, I, I the do like the radios. The radios are great. <laughs> I love that. 
<laughs> They're clear too. I don't know how yours is, but like you're crystal oh, clear crystal, when you talk to me. Crystal, yeah. crystal clear. We should test the distance sometime. Hey, quick shout out to the app Turo. Super cool app. First time I've used it. We got this. Yep. Way cheaper than rental More than places. half off from a regular, like from like Enterprise and Avis and stuff. Look, yeah. those were like 180 to 250 per day. What was this, like $89 or some shit? Yeah, 89 bucks a day right now when it's Unlimited like prime. Miles. Unlimited miles. So shout out to Turo. Hey, you know what? In the future, it'd be sick to like have a sponsorship deal because that was a lifesaver today. Yeah. The only downside to Turo is you can't drive from A and drop it off at B. Yeah. Because th it's literally somebody's car. So it's like this person had an extra car and they rent it out. So you got to bring it back to the same place you picked it up at. Yeah, that part does suck. I was, I was literally about to say the same thing. Yeah. So, uh, but other than that, if you're going to be sticking around the town, super nice to just grab a vehicle and yeah it is someone's vehicle so it's pretty cool i couldn't find my vape i was all doing this look where it was that whole time that could have been sketchy oh <laughs> <laughs> under that could have sucked under the brake or some shit dude <laughs> i can't stop all right well about time to hit the road again unfortunately oh, it's nice out here it's nice fresh clean air <sighs> love this and when there's no traffic, dude, silence. I know. You just hear wind and maybe one bird. Not a lot of birds. I've yeah, seen I know. a few. A couple, what? A couple crows. We saw one, like one creature. We uh, saw the little mouse and a porcupine. That's right, yeah. One mouse and a porcupine so far in Alaska. No and deer, no birds. No elk, no moose. There's no birds flying around. It's really, I don't know if we're really here. weird, man. I, like, I don't know what... Like we see, you see all that stuff. We've seen crows stuff. on the road, but or like vultures or whatever, but nothing. Nothing. Like when we stop and there's dead silence, it gets dead silent. That's one of the things I was most excited about. I was like, oh man, all you ever hear about is just the fucking wildlife because this place is like so <laughs> untouched, you know? Foreshadowing tomorrow, we're going to get go out on the water and hopefully we see some wildlife there. Oh sick. man, I hope we catch some stuff. I love fishing. Yeah, we get to go fishing tomorrow, guys. So stay tuned. That's gonna be a fun video. I hope we, I want to catch some and actually eat it fresh right out of the water. That'd be cool. Mm. That'd be sick. And maybe we see some whales. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be super cool. Woo! Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're kind of in trouble right now, but we gotta. There's do no trespassing sounds all over. All right, Nick, stand there. Do some poses. We do a fucking gangster rap. Okay, pose. we're gonna do some pictures. Hey. Anyways, here it is. It's this big igloo. Uh, there's, uh, no it's pretty sick. Surrounded by mountains. So yeah, we, we had to bend the rules a little bit, but we're just getting some pictures. And it's super sick. An igloo in Alaska? Who would have thought? Again, in the middle of the valley. Ah. Oh. So freaking beautiful. All right, we are about to go explore this area because there's some railroad tracks down here. And my boy Nick wants to get some pictures. So we're gonna go see how far we got to hike and if we can even get there. So let's go. Oh, literally as I said. Oh yeah. What do you got, bro? Oh, I just said, I bet I can find mushrooms here. This seems like a good mushroom spot and there's a couple right here. Can't tell wow. what, that one's too old. All right. Oh, there's a bird. Looks like we're gonna be going for a while. I think it's gonna be right along those little trees right there. Picks down here. So we'll see. All right, start walking. All right, new plan. Uh, that's a little too thick for hiking around. So we're gonna drive. That's what she uh, <laughs> We're gonna go back to the bridge back here. It's like literally right up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a Nikon lens cap? <laughs> yes. Anyways, we're gonna go up there because you can 
spot under the bridge over here where the railroad tracks are and then there's a track a bridge with the railroad tracks anyways you'll see whoa a little slippery we don't have allergies a little better beat right All right, here's the deal. Bridge thing didn't work out. Now we're tramping through the bushes. We're not allergic to bushes. Nah, uh, we're good old Oregon boys. Right, maybe. I've been through worse. Oh, that's a nice little trail, eh? Well, Give that us didn't an excuse work. to get out of the rig again, though. That's true. Yeah. We'll, find some we'll find some more spots. Let's go. Well, 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 we are getting very much close to Fairbanks now, only 36 miles away. I've been jamming out to some John Denver, listen to a few podcasts, and uh, talk to my wife for a little bit. So it's been a nice trip. Clouds have, are definitely still here in the old Fairbanks area. Hopefully we can get back on the road soon enough to catch some sunset down in the beautiful valley of the Denali National Park. But before we get on the road again, we have to fill this thing up with fuel and go give it a wash now how I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna go to like Fred Myers buy a little pack of rags and a gallon of water and just come out here and wipe the thing down because it's really not that dirty but it's definitely dirtier than it was when we picked it up and if it goes back dirty guess what they charge you a hundred dollars and I'm pretty sure all the car washes around town are hella expensive uh, oh so I'm gonna just drink the rest of my Mountain Dew and have some fun on the road. 30 miles more of this stuff right here. Rocky Mountain High in Alaska. Rocky Mountain High. Oh yeah, I got them pipes, bro. All right, we'll see you when we drop this sucker off. All right, this is my idea how to save a buck. Buy some towels, a couple jugs of water, wipe down the truck. Whee! Well, here we are at 4x4 rentals. Apparently, if you, if you rent a vehicle for four days, return it after only two days of use, you don't get your refund, which is weird. Usually, if you rent a vehicle... Just like the one we just rented. Yeah, they give you... It's they only charge you for the days that you did use it. And the time you had it. So I paid 1200 bucks for two days to drive a truck around Alaska. Not a good deal. No, that's a terrible deal. Um, and it would have been nice if somebody would have. That would have been a the good thing to know. Like, hey, early returns, you don't get refunded. Yeah, like most other companies. <sighs> I'm going to be upset about this for a while. We had to pull over because this just looks too good to not and we haven't stopped at this spot yet i mean look at this canyon right here it's a sick river you can hardly see these freaking dumb bushes we need to cut the bushes out but 
nice view. Look at that canyon over there. Yeah. The Passover. Valley over here. This valley. Beautiful. Bugs out here, so uh, cocksucker. At first, you you're like annoyed, and then you clean it, and then it's just all smeared all over, <laughs> smeary. Yeah. Then the sun hits it just right, and then you can't see where you're going. Look at your sun's going away. Uh, no, unfortunately, I wanted to see the sunset. Yeah. All right, we're going to see this crazy canyon that literally pops out of nowhere. You come around a corner, go across a small bridge, and there's like a deep freaking canyon right here. I don't know if I showed this last time I was here, because this was all a huge snow bank. Oh yeah, there's a trail right there, dude. Oh, it's this. Let's just go, let's just go check it out. Oh. <laughs> that is a steep drop off. That's what I'm saying. I don't oh know. my god, dude. Uh, it just ends right here. Oh, oh. Damn. Gotta be careful. You don't want to fall. You ain't going to make it back up. Just made it back. Time to pass out. Oh fuck. What a day. Yeah. This was like draining, so yeah. we'll see you guys tomorrow for a hopefully mostly relaxing day on the water. It should be nice. Good night.